All right, let's take you to our earlier opening story. And the stepfather joining us now via Skype is the daughter of the acclaimed winner of the June 12 presidential election, Hafsat Tabiola Costello. Good morning, and thank you for joining us today. Let's start by asking you, how did you and other members of the family take the news of the posthumous honor given to your father? We are over the moon. We are so happy. You know, I feel like um, between yesterday and today, I'm a different human being and in a different country. I just feel a restored hope in Nigeria, and I feel deeply grateful to the leadership that has done the right thing by my father after 25 years. Well, it's quite a long time. As you say, 25 years since your father died. Do you think the honor is coming too late? How can it come too late? There's no time limit for things like this. And it is better that it should come from somebody that means to do him, um, to honor him, than to come from someone that didn't want to do it and was not pushed. For eight years that he was our leader, he never mentioned my father's name. So I'm just happy that if we not on the federal government, so nobody was even putting any pressure on President Buhari, but on his own, through his consultation, he has been guided and he understands that what's right is right, and I'm glad that he has done it. Now, let me bring this up because, I mean, people interpret different things in their own way. Do you perceive any political undertone in the president's declaration? So my question to you would be, even if there were political undertones, in 2019, what day will we mark as Democracy Day? In 2020, 2021, whatever has caused the president to be properly guided cannot change the impact of what has been done. Now Nigeria is rooting its democracy on the legacy of those people who sacrificed themselves from the June 12 movement, and that's the right foundation for us. May 29 was a nothing. It, it was pulled out of thin air, mm -hmm. and it means nothing. So it should not surprise us that all that has gone before has brought us to this story path, where Nigeria is worse off today than we were in 1993. And only are we seeing some steps in the current administration, and still even not enough. So the courage that has gotten President Buhari to take this bold step which is a giant leap for the country, I hope will continue to be manifest in his actions in the coming years and that he may do right by Nigeria because there's still so much to be done. All right, then we'll leave it at that point. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us today. And congratulations to all of us. It's all to our credit. It's good for all of Nigeria. Thank you.